Ya, aku nanti aku main ni terus. Dah, dah ni dah. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Mana ni siapa kan? Test ni lah kan. Test tu pun nak buka ni juga. Tapi elok je naik uh, tu juga. Okay ya, boleh. boleh. Okay ya. Let's do this. Kau tengok dekat eh. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Assalamualaikum and a very good morning everyone, girls and boys. We are here. You are listening to IIUM FM, your campus radio. And for today's segment, we have empathy is key. So what is our topic today, DJ Pijan? Our topic today is about um, how we deal with people who have uh, Fighting stigma against yeah. mental health, right? <laughs> so, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm a little bit 
Oh, it's okay, yeah. it's early in the morning, it's already week 14, yes. we're going through so much, but it's okay again, hold on, and we're going to talk about this topic, it's very important that we address this issue nowadays, because everyone, um, I think we can say that awareness about mental health is increasing, yes. you could say that too, Dijan? Yes, uh, nowadays people can talk a lot about uh, psychology disorder, mental health True. disorder, <laughs> it shows that people have that awareness. Yes, it is important. We have to first start discussing about it in order to help solve this issue, right? Yes. Okay, so I just heard the other day that there are people who are unable to get jobs just because they have mental health issues. Seriously? Mm. Yes. It's, it's really problematic. It's really a huge problem in today's society. Yes. So, I think, let's just talk about this, but I think it's better if we have someone that knows more about this issue. Because yeah. we can't talk about it. Yeah, we're no expert. Okay. <laughs> so today, we have with us uh, a special person, and her name is Miss um, Shamil Sofia Binti Hussein, and she is a, le- a, a psychology lecturer. She's currently doing her master in, master's in clinical and counseling psychology. So Miss Shamil, would you please um, introduce yourself? Sir? Okay, assalamualaikum so warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, well, I am a doing. I'm, I am a lecturer mm-hmm. in one of the in a uh, in a. Um, before I was a lecturer in CFS, but currently I'm not. I'm not doing psych. I'm just doing psychology, not yet teaching psychology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then, um, I am currently doing my master's in clinical and counseling psychology, and also. Mm, a an active member of Niasa, an organization, a non governmental organization known as the Mental Illness Awareness Support Association. Ah, I oh. see. So you are truly befitting for our discussion today. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you today, Mr. Min? Uh, bracing with week fourteen, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We're all in this together. Yes, yes, true, true. <laughs> well, okay. So without further ado, let's start our discussion. Oh. Okay, the first question. Yeah, first question, Tijan. What is the first question? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, Ms. Shami, can you share uh, the statistic uh, with us, the statistic for the number of students who face mental health disorder? Okay, so thank you, Shah Fizan. Okay, I'll give you Tijan now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, according to the uh, New Straits Times in 2019, they actually um, cited a study by researchers from UKM's Department of Community Health, Department of Psychiatry, and Department of Family Medicine, when they had um, conducted a study on the prevalence of depression, anxiety, and stress among university students. Mm -hmm. And the study um, actually covered 506 students between the ages of 18 to 24 years from four universities in the Klang Valley. And surprisingly, the results showed that 27.5% 27.5% had moderate um, and 9.7% had severe, extremely severe depression and 29% had extremely severe anxiety. And although 29% doesn't sound really big, mm-hmm. but it is big mm-hmm. um, if considered in the Klang Valley population, uh, especially it's just among four universities, right? Yes. And both depression and, and interestingly also, both depression and anxiety scores were significantly higher among older students 20 years and above and those born in rural areas and it was also higher among females malays and families um, and those with families um, either having a low or high income compared to those with middle incomes Mm. so it's um yeah it shows a lot about how um environmental factors really um affect you right yeah that's interesting Um, high and low income yeah that's interesting people in moderate Income is actually well not saying that they yes. don't have yes. at all, yes. but it's lesser. based on the yeah, statistics, yeah, 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 yeah. it's lesser. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I guess you could say, um, in a way, as like Islam already told us that in life it's best to live your life mm. in moderation. True. Right? true. That's true. So that's maybe true. that could be a factor as to yeah, why true, um, true. we have, um, problems in our lives because yeah. everything is an extreme nowadays. True. Hmm. True. That's true. That's so true. Like when you go for extreme ends or something, mm. then the consequences will be real bad. Yes, yeah. yes. So, so, well, uh, I guess, although those are things that we can't really control, we try 
to control it, but we can only do our best to do that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we only have to leave it to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala yeah. and pray for the best. Allah knows the best. Yes, true. Well, let's move on to the next question. Um. Well, now that we're talking about stigma against mental health, yeah. um, what do you, what do you think is the stigma against mental health disorders? Uh, I see. Okay. So um, thank you, Amira. Mm-hmm. Amira. Okay. So. Um, first of all, we have to understand that stigma itself is a belief held by a large faction of the society mm-hmm. in which um, people with um, a stigmatized condition are less equal or also considered as a part of an inferior group. So in this case, like how stigma affects um, people or individuals with, with mental health disorders, it's because um, stigma is normally shown in societies. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm going to talk about how, at first, how it um, who actually gives the stigma and, and, and the second end, the second part, which is how it affects people with mental health issues. So normally, um, stigma is um, shown by one of the biggest cause, the biggest factor is the mass media, mm-hmm. right? Because um, let's agree that cinematic stereotypes and media images of mental illness often identify people with mental illness as homis- homicidal maniacs. For example, if you watch a not trying to uh, be biased here, mm-hmm. but it's just facts. Like um, you can see. I'm not. I'll not name also the um the what you call it the show. Yeah, yeah, the title of the show. But there are um very few or certain um uh, Malay or Malay dramas, which actually show people who have, for example, depression or anxiety or even schizophrenia, and how. Um, they are shown like maniacs, yeah. or in other words, in a way, which in psychology we should not call them this. In a way, uh, in Malay we call them as orang gila. Yeah. yeah. And people are scared of these people. Mm-hmm. Like for example, if you see on the street a person talking alone, mm-hmm. you will not feel in Malaysia. You will not feel um sympathy. Mm-hmm. You will not empathize. You will feel. You will first feel scared. I understand how people with mental issues might have um might show um, tendencies. Yes, they have uh, tendencies to hurt you, uh-huh. right? But in the first place, because we sh- we tend to show fear, we are not actually helping them. To quote, for example, a, a drama that I watched recently. Mm-hmm. Okay, I watch Malay dramas. <laughs> no, I don't really okay. watch Malay dramas. But this one was really interesting because they actually showed about a person having a mental illness and how the family. Was and it really affected the children, the wa and the husband and stuff. But then what happened was that throughout the whole story, I was kind of sad in a way because um the plot didn't go like how it should be, where the husband should have been proactive. The husband has been seeking help from his friend who was a doctor, mm-hmm. but he didn't really bring the the yeah. wife to a psychiatrist oh. or to seek for help because he was first afraid that the wife would go would be re- really mad and mm-hmm. second like he was like really stalling and i think there was re- and at the end of the story what happened was the the wife was institutionalized so institutionalized means you have to enter a mental health um, facility yeah. so that like, the whole drama actually shows that in a way if you have mental illness then you know you're going bonkers uh-huh. you're just going to down go down the road you know yeah, that's yes. not good yeah. so in a way to to conclude i think that stigma actually this this movie, this drama, it actually added stigma. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, for example, I am a psychology student, I understand, but like if I watch it with my mother or my sister, they tend to get scared. Yes. And 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 at the receiving end, uh, mm-hmm. on people with mental health issues, it actually devalues a person and also affects the um client oh no, sorry, the patient's self image. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, thanks to how great the impact of uh, media, mass media True. to our society. So we hope that uh, for the future, our mass media can portray the truth. Yes, mm-hmm. about a mental health disorder. Mm-hmm. So we move on to the next question. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think there is stigma, men- against mental health disorder? Oh, okay. Um, why is there a stigma against mental health? Um, I think. One of the reasons I think I've um I'm gonna answer this quite short than before because I think I've also mentioned it before. I think it's because of the environment lah. Mm-hmm. Like for example, we have to treat mental illness like an illness. It's like cancer. If you, mm-hmm. if someone has cancer, will you go be scared of the person? No. Why? 
Because you know that is your illness. Yes. Yes. Have to treat it. Exactly. Similar to anxiety and depression. No, okay, I get, I get, I okay. get really emotional. It's okay. <laughs> when you're, you're passionate about this yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think because, um, uh, there is stigma because, um, let's just face it. When you have mental health issues, you will look like a healthy person from the outside. Unless you really have severe ones, mm-hmm. right? And then, for example, because it's, to me, it's a silent killer. Like cancer. It's a silent killer, but slowly you'll see the person's face or the body expressions and stuff. They slowly deteriorate, right? Mm-hmm. But a person with mental health issues, let's say, for example, generalized anxiety disorder, unless you're not really close to the person, you'll see the person as a normal human being. And if the, let's say if it's a student, then student doesn't go to class and people hate her, mm-hmm. don't, don't, you know, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. So um, I think the stigma is, num- uh, there is stigma, number one, is because you can't really see the person suffering. Mm-hmm. Number two, I think it's because, because it's in the mind. Mm-hmm. And our society, uh, sad to say, everything that is related to the mind, if, if, there, if there is something normal to your mind, therefore you are deemed as abnormal, mm-hmm. you know? But if you have cancer, or if you have, let's say, um, what physical. else? Yeah, physical illness. Yeah, physical illness. Then you'll not be deemed as um unhealthy, and you will be. You'll have more sympathy. You'll get yes. more sympathy and empathy for other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think a lot of people, the root cause of stigma again is because people don't understand something. Yeah, they true. don't educate them th- themselves. True. Hence, we as human beings, we fear things that we don't understand. Yeah, true. So, true. That's so true. Oh, that's so nice. So, <laughs> when we, uh, so at the end of the day, that's why we should try to be uh, understanding. Understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. and educate ourselves on these issues. True, true. Um, again, like you said, uh, at the end of the day, when it comes to mental health issues, uh, you said it's all about the mind, right? And people mm-hmm. think just because you can handle a certain situation better than the other does not mean that the other person is so weak. Maybe they're going through something. Yes. Maybe they yes. have mental health issues as well. So I think this at the end of the day we have to be kind towards yes. one another. Yes. And well that being said, let's move on to your next question. Alright, so okay, how do you think stigma against mental health affects um the study or work life of students with mental health disorders? Okay, um, okay, so we're talking about different types of students with mental health issues, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, um, first of all, um, as a student myself, uh, when you have mental health issues, the stigma actually um, does not help when, for example, you have to skip class. Let's say, okay, let's just put it into uh, an, an example so that you understand. For example, um, a student who is um, diagnosed with a major depressive disorder mm-hmm. with psychotic symptoms. Okay. So when you have psychotic symptoms, it means that you hallucinate, you delu- you're delusional, you mm-hmm. tend to see other things and stuff. So this student here, let's say for example, he always, she always or he always sees a person talking to him or her. And people get scared with her because she tends to talk alone. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly she gets this really... Ap- these episodes of um, depressive episodes and she couldn't come to class. So how would stigma affect these kind of students is when, for example, they can't really go to class and they're not in their right mind and they get these other um, images talking to them. And then when they come to class, like for example, bringing an MC of let's say two weeks and then the lecturer starts as just saying, for example, everything is in your mind. Mm-hmm. You know, It's really not helpful. And uh, for example, the person um, has a, an, assi- an assignment to submit and the friends uh, and the person is not able to do the assignment. And then instead of actually, um, I'm not saying that people with mental health issues do not should not do their assignments. No, mm-hmm. they should do their assignments, okay. but people around them should help them cope. Mm-hmm. But instead, if your group mates start saying to you, um, I think, ini mengada lah. Yeah. Uh, you know, and like, um, ah, memang lah, kau sakit, pasti kau kena buat kerja, you know, all mm-hmm. these things. You still have to do your work and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, this actually does not help the person. Instead, what you should do, you should actually tell your lecturer, mm-hmm. this person here has a condition, mm-hmm. she can't really um, contribute to the assignment, mm-hmm. what should we do, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. So, this is um, generally how stigma would affect people with mental health issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's 
it's a fact. The thing is that um, a person. Again, it's all about a society that doesn't understand yes. this issue. Hence, it's a it's going to make it worse for the people that actually have these mental health issues. Yeah, yeah. And again, um, our laws, yes, our laws, and also our education, educational education institutions don't really acknowledge this yet, especially in Malaysia. So you you're not really given um, not not passes. Uh, what should I say? Um, like for example, leeways, uh, right? leeways, yeah. uh, because it is um a health issue at yeah. the end of the day, just like any physical and illness, yes, yes. Like, like what you mentioned, sure. cancer yeah. or what. Yeah. Yes, yes. Every time they have to go to another treatment, yeah. or they have to go yes. to yes, true. and also the side effects of the medication if they yes. have medication as well. So, oh my god, can I can I give? I just thought, okay. yeah, <laughs> I right. just thought of, a, of an example. Yeah. Uh, I met a patient, which is my friend now, um, sh- uh, from Yasa. So we had a conference before. Mm-hmm. So to cut the story short, what happened was that she has um depression, anxiety. Okay. So she studied, she did a degree in um, if I'm not mistaken, architecture. Okay. In um, in if I'm not mistaken, it's Sheffield or Edinburgh oh. in the UK. Right. So what happened? She is a she's a G- GPA scholar, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And then what happened towards her third year? She couldn't study. Because of her depression and anxiety. And luckily, Allah helped her in the sense that GPA allowed her to extend. But she couldn't She couldn't go to the studio. She couldn't think of designs. Mm. It was so bad for her. What well, I want to talk about how the university itself helped her. Oh. You know, she actually had... Because, because of her performance, she, she met her lecture and stuff. So they were really concerned. So in... If I'm not mistaken, it's University of Edinburgh. What happened was that if you have a mental health issue, they will actually assign... Um, in a mental health body for you, oh. it's like a counselor, yeah. but it's a it uh it's a okay. There are two. You'll be assigned a counselor number yeah. one, and you'll be ha- assigned a body where they will help you study. Okay. They will help you strategize how would how you would end your semester well. Oh. So what happened was that she had these sessions with the body, and the body would actually like um draw out shadows for her, mm-hmm. uh, and ask her, okay. So now you have to do this. You have to do this. Uh, this is how we're going to study this. Mm-hmm. And then she helped, her, uh, the buddy also helped her with her designs and stuff mm-hmm. to go to the studio. And the best part was that the buddy would have interactions with her counselor in the university to show progress, so that progress oh. reports. And she actually improved. Yeah. You know, so yeah. when I heard that, I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah. Like, here in Malaysia, okay, I've never heard, I don't know if there is a university like that, mm-hmm. but I've never, never heard. heard. Yeah. <laughs> You are you are assigned to a body of yes. all the people, you know, and imagine one university you'll have more than ten percent of people having mental health issues. Yes. And this shows how they and and this shows how the um the UK lah, they really take mental health issues as something really important. Mm-hmm. And it also shows that you can actually help a person with mental health issues to improve yes. if you give them time and avenue. True. Mm-hmm. Again, at the end of the day, it starts it starts with the society. Like we, yeah, we first have to change the way we see yeah, this true. issue in order yeah, to get to the higher up, understand the yes. issue. Yes, yeah, So, I think um, that's why we should talk about this issue today. Because yeah, yeah. we need to raise awareness. <laughs> yes, yes. The yes. thing is, they have awareness, but mm. they doesn't no, uh, understand. Action. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and also action as well. Yeah. True. So, so, move on to the next move on, question. Move on to the next question. Mm-hmm. We have talked about... Uh, uh, study yes. life, work life. Mm-hmm. We want to talk about how does the stigma against mental health it affect the social life of mm-hmm. students who have mental health disorder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, so just now we talked about from the uh, aspect of studies, right? Yeah. Now, um, from the social life aspect. So I think like this is understandable, and th- you could you could guess this. Um, normally people with mental health. In, sorry, people with mental health issues. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's only in the morning. <laughs> Who said it? Yeah. So they tend to have um, this something called as in psychology something called as social avoidance, mm-hmm. or the public will socially avoid them, mm-hmm. right? And um, according to a survey, the but this is way long. This is nineteen ninety six. But just imagine in the in nineteen ninety six the figure is that is bad. Then just imagine two thousand nineteen how it's yes. worse, right? So um, there was a study conducted in the United States and it was found that half of the respondents, they refused to socialize with a person with mental health issues 
they refuse that their family members marry a person with social health issues, they would not even want to live next to a person with social health issues, eh, mental health issues, sorry. It shows how bad it is, you know? I mean, I understand that, let's say, okay, let's say, for example, uh, a person, you do not understand anxiety, Mm -hmm. and this person tend to have these bouts where they would go for, let's say, they get panic attacks Mm -hmm. suddenly. You don't understand, you will feel scared, Mm -hmm. right? But then, for you to say, I don't want to live with you, I don't want to even be friends with you, I don't want to go to a social Mm -hmm. gathering where you are there because you're scary. That's such de- that's so demeaning. Imagine if the person is such a normal human being. Imagine if someone says that to you because you have cancer. Mm-hmm. Or let's say if you have this skin disease. Mm-hmm. And you don't want that skin disease. Mm-hmm. And people like don't want to talk to you because of that skin disease. You know? How would you feel? It's just the same. So um to, to cut to, to make it short, I think, um, how does it affect social life? Because um how does it affect how does it affect social life of students <laughs> is through um, self, uh, social avoidance of other people and also discrimination. Mm. Yeah, and this, believe me, the more you avoid these people, in a way, it will affect um the patients tremendously. Where the the, it's not a surprise if their condition tends tends to severe yeah. instead of moderate. Yeah, mm-hmm. because of this. Yeah, because at the end of the day, no matter what illness that you have, be it physical or mentally, mm-hmm. everyone. In the first place, doesn't want does does not want to be yes, going yeah. through that. Yeah. yeah. 